Good day colleagues. Welcome to tip four. As we prepare for the right shop to fast track the transformation of COVAB's programs into online courses on Moele. The right shop is going to take place on Friday the 29th and Saturday the 30th September. We are going to dedicate these two days to take time off our routine teaching and our routine administrative uh, meetings to be able to build material into the detailed design document or DDD and bring them to completion. So tip four deals with part seven. And part seven is formulation of the detailed ETV page, ETVT pages for each week. So while creating a course or module online, it will be arranged according to ETVTs. ETVT pages details what Alana is expected to do during that week. So it's quite vast and detailed, but yet simple. It's got a topic number and title. It gives that course wild module outcome that is addressed by that topic. It gives the intended learning outcome specifically for that topic the content under the topic. Now, number one up to four can be easily collected from the work that was, that you have programmed earlier into your DDD from part two up to part six. Part five will give the learner the purpose of why they should study that topic. Part six will tell the learner the roles or the tools they will assume and use as they study the topic. Are they going to read peer-reviewed journals? Are they going to watch YouTube videos? Are they going to hold discussions? Generally, the tools they're going to use as they study the contents of the topic you've given them. Part seven is the preparatory research. So under preparatory research, they are going to undertake to study sections of the topic, literature, um, watch videos, or anything that needs to be read with regards to that topic. Then we've got the ETVTs. When they're done with the research, that's going to help them understand the topic. We take them to do ETVTs. This will help them find out whether they've actually learned whatever you set them whatever you set for them under the preparatory research. It can be a few study questions, it can be group work, it can be an assignment, it can be a quiz. So you'll tell them whether the topic is linked to other units or other topics. You give them the anticipated time it's going to take for them to go through the topic. Any deadlines, especially if they have to submit assignments, um, there's a topic evaluation where you can have self-reflection questions. This might be related to ETVTs in part eight. Any other content questions that can be graded or ungraded. Again, this might be related to uh, part 12 or part eight. And then lastly, you provide a link for them to go back to the home page where they started from. So let's look at 
a detailed ETVT page in Muwele that's going to guide the learning of the student for a particular topic. We've gone to the module 7219, Applied Molecular Biology. It's a master's program. And at the interface, you know, we start with the study guide. We've got the module outline. Let's assume we've all gone through there. The welcome message. They've introduced us to the facilitators. And we're going to go straight to the topic. And we are looking at topic number four, vaccine history and development. Sorry, vaccine history and discovery. The link is active, so if we click on it, it will take us to the ETVT pages, which will guide our learning for lesson four. Let me just say a no here. And we are on the ETVT page for lesson four. Let me make it a little bit larger. Yes, we want ETVT page. So we've got the topic title and number. We have stated that the course-wide module learning outcome three supports learning in topic four. Now here we are giving the learners the topic specific module learning outcome for topic four. By the end of this topic, I should be able to describe the history of vaccines from the 18th century to the 20th century, identifying innovation that boosted vaccine development. The content that I'll find under topic four is 4.1 up to 4.6, right from the use of live animal pathogens down to down to chemical inactivation, genetic engineering, and adjuvants. So if I click on next, it takes me to the next part of the activities. On this page, I've been given the purpose why I need to know about vaccine history. It's a short paragraph. I'll read about it. Then it goes to the roles. I will assume roles and it goes down to the roles and the nature or tasks that I will assume while learning this topic or the tools I'm going to use to learn the topic. And it's written in the active voice. Over to you. To understand more about the history of vaccines, I'm going to watch a short topic, a short YouTube video. I'm going to supplement the knowledge gained by reading a custom-made PowerPoint presentation. Follow up the key innovations in the PowerPoint presentation in peer-reviewed journals and then I have to summarize the key innovations in a written assignment. So the next part is a preparatory research. The work I'm going to read through, listen to or do in order to gain knowledge on the topic of vaccine history. So the first part I've been asked to do is to watch the YouTube video. I click on the link. Thanks and important YouTube, support from the National Institute. The YouTube video comes on. I'll watch it for about eight minutes. And after that, I'm told to summarize the innovations described in the video by reading the PowerPoint presentation labeled Lecture Series 1, History and Development. And it is, sorry, this PowerPoint slide presentation is available here. So if I click on it, it should take me there. 
it's taken me to the folder with lecture notes and journals i find that the powerpoint lecture series is the first here if i click on it it opens up and you know i'm able to read through it and get to find the concepts when i'm done i can go back i can go back to the window with the activities next it tells me i need to read the following peer reviewed journals and the journals are available here it takes me back to the folder with the journal articles and i can see them here labeled one two three when i click on them they should come into being and i can read them or i can download them i can move backwards and go back to the next journal this topic is not linked to any other the activities given study questions to help me evaluate myself for knowledge gain deadlines for this topic activities it needs to be completed by week one it's not linked to other topics anticipated time is 12 hours and this is the statement to be able to go back to the home page click here it also tells me it's the end of this topic so when I click there, I should go back to the home page with all the list of topics. So let me go back to the PowerPoint presentation. So yes, we've been able to see an ETVT page giving us the details of what the learner is expected to do during a particular week. The details of the topic, learner, uh, the topic number and title, ELOs, content, purpose, tools I'm going to use while studying the topic, preparatory research, which takes me through the research I'm supposed to do to gain knowledge in the topics, activities, which are activities to determine whether I actually learnt what has been given the deadlines self-evaluation and a link back to the home page so thank you that has been the end of tip number four hope to meet you soon with the last tip now if i can stop recording